Zucchinis and summer squash are powerhouse plants with big time production and even bigger growth. These are some of the largest plants the backyard gardener will ever grow. Their impressive fruits are only superseded by their astonishing foliage. So how is it that they make such great container plants? Well, let's find out. For growing zucchinis in containers, or anywhere really, we first must obtain our plants. The easiest and most cost-effective way is to seed and create your own zucchini starter plants early on in the season. I'll throw a link in the description below for a detailed video showing how you can do that. The process does take about four to six weeks to get those young plants to the size that you need them to be to put them into a larger pot. So you're gonna to wanna to time out your germination early in the season accordingly. Conversely, in the spring, you can also buy zucchini starter plants almost everywhere, often for as little as two bucks. Either way you choose, you'll be at the same starting position. It's early spring and you have a large, healthy young zucchini plant and you're ready to roll. So now we begin with step one, preparing our pot. The first thing I do is I line that inside of the pot with newspaper to prevent soil from leaking through the holes. I then aim to fill that pot with a quality organic potting mix. Any good, light, airy, commercial mix will do. However, if you're so inclined, I'll throw a link in the description below on how you can make your own DIY ultimate potting mix right at home. Whichever you choose, fill that pot to about 80% full. The final step in prepping that pot is simply to water it. Water that potting mix generously to provide a landing pad for that young zucchini plant. Begin by taking your young zucchini plant in one hand and then take your other hand, placing it over top of the pot, straddling the stem with your index and middle fingers. Tip the pot over and that zook should pop right out quite easily. Now, zucchinis love to grow in a direction. I prefer to let my plants grow out of the pot, so I place mine right on the side, right at that edge, with the growth direction pointed outwards. You can plant yours in the middle, or plant yours at the edge with the growth going inward. It really doesn't matter, it's all personal preference. Next, take that same potting mix and begin to fill in and around that zucchini plant. Zucchinis and squash can be planted quite deep, so aim for planting right up to those initial seed leaves, also known as cotyledons. I always go with five gallon nursery pots for growing my zucchinis. The plants don't necessarily need that much pot size because the roots of zucchinis are actually relatively shallow, but their foliage is so large that they're highly susceptible to actually blowing and tipping over with a lighter pot. So five gallons it is. Compact that soil down slightly as you go along, ensuring that the plant is in there nice and snug. With my plant here, I probably could have gone a little bit deeper, at least another inch, but it'll still be okay. We're now ready for the last steps. Your first instinct would probably be to water the zucchini, but hold up. Before watering, we must mulch that pot. Mulching is great in that it prevents moisture loss and also regulates extreme temperatures, but of immediate importance, it allows us to water that zucchini without blasting that soil everywhere, undoing the work that we had just done. You can use any organic mulch material that you have available, such as yard trimmings or even shredded leaves. They all work great. Here, I'm using a 50-50 mix of coarse straw and freshly cut green grass. I can already tell that this mulch is gonna be fantastic. As you can see now, we have no problems watering. For my first watering, I always water with about one liter per gallon of pot size. In my experience, that sets up the zucchini plant just perfectly. Growing zucchini and squash is relatively easy and loads of fun. After going through the process of growing zucchini in containers, I have to say 
that it's even more fun and even easier. Your inputs are slightly higher, however, in that you do need containers or pots, and you will need significantly more compost or potting mix. But if you're space challenged, or you have a couple empty spots in your patio, you'd be hard pressed to find something more impressive than growing zucchinis in containers. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you're getting value in this and the other series that I'm doing on YouTube, hit those like, share and subscribe buttons if you'd be so kind and I'll see you in the next video.